Spurgeon was uh, very concerned in his preaching that he address the needs of the people where they're at. So he was actually highly wary of having sermon series. He was saying most of us are not interesting enough as preachers to be able to hold people. And so he would, uh, and this is one of his great strengths, he would always seek to be preaching Christ, preaching the gospel to the people where they're at and what their needs are at. And there, I think, is a great strength. He's not simply trotting out material unaware of where people are at. But there is a weakness to that as well, that because he was seeking to preach from a text that he believed was always relevant to where people, um, what, what their contexts were, experiences were at that time, it, it meant that he wasn't systematic in his preaching. So he would go from one text to another. And the danger there is he could become, I didn't believe he did, but he could become by that method, um, a preacher who would ride his own hobby horse. This is what I want to preach on, rather than tying himself to a text and therefore being forced week after week to preach the whole counsel of God rather than his own agenda. So his strength as a preacher who wants to minister Christ to where people are at in their need, there's a flip side to it. And there was always that danger that he wouldn't be preaching the whole counsel of God in how he did so. That means for us today that preachers need to, on the one hand, think very carefully how in my preaching schedule and in my preaching am I ensuring I'm not simply preaching my thoughts and bouncing off some text that will work to preach my thoughts? How do I anchor myself to scripture such that people are hearing the whole counsel of God? And on the other hand, being aware of the particular needs of my congregation, the people who I'm speaking to in this situation, rather than speaking above the heads of where people are at. So there's, there's a lesson to be learned from both Spurgeon's strength and weakness for preachers today. We need to preach to people where they're at, but always with the context of the whole counsel of God in how we do so.